What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, so I've been been taking a little time off, just enjoying myself, making a few outdoor videos. But today we finally got enough snow here in Pittsburgh. So I'm gonna be doing part two of the strap-on snow chains. So I had a ton of comments last in the last video saying that I should have spaced the snow chains instead of putting them together. So in today's video, that's what I'm gonna do. We'll see how, how well they do when they're spaced out. We got a good bit of snow. We got maybe two inches last night, but we've been getting like two inches at a time for about two weeks now here and there. So finally got a good bit of packed snow on the driveway. My Escalade has no problem getting out, but I've tried, this This truck here is just two wheel drive. So I tried to get out a couple times now, and this is as far as I could make it, right here. That's the, as far as the back tire could make it. There and there. This truck has the G80 locker, just like my last truck, except this truck is just two wheel drive. So the tires I have on here are actually really good tires. These tires have impressed me a lot. The Cooper Discover AT3s. This is the most confidence I've had driving in the snow in just a two wheel drive truck with these tires. This is the first time I haven't been able to get out of the driveway all year. There's been snow on here a bunch of times, a bunch of snow on the roads. I've gotten some wood, a load of wood in the snow and these tires have been amazing, so highly, 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 highly recommend these tires for snow. Probably the best all-terrain tire that I've used in the snow so far. Yeah, they're a three-peak all-terrain tire, which sometimes the three-peak all-terrains aren't great in the snow, but this one is amazing. You know, they have a lot of tread on them too. So I've been able to get around really, really well, but this much packed down snow just is a little bit too much for this rear rear wheel drive truck. Now, if I had a bunch of weight in the bed, it would make it easier to get out just because you're not really sinking down. So weight above the rear tire will help you. But we're gonna try out these chains. I'm gonna show you first that I really can't get out here in two wheel drive. So this is gonna be a good test. There's the chains right there my floor so this will be a good test let's say for some reason my escalade was uh, down out of commission right now and i needed to go somewhere and i couldn't really get out of the driveway with my with my truck so we'll see if these chains will be enough to make it so i can get out so i'll set up the camera and i'll show you guys first that i really can't get out just uh just with the tires i have all right this will be test one this is with no snow chains. So that's the best I could do. All right, so now I'm gonna put the chains on and we'll see if they make a difference. I was actually really trying to move too. I don't wanna tear up my driveway too bad, but I was, you know, doing pretty much as 
the most that I wanted to without really, really digging in. Okay, so just like the last video, you just wrap this strap around, make sure that the chain is actually on the tire part. See, it goes right through here. One mistake I made was making it too tight and that's why it ripped. So I'm just gonna have it you know, pretty tight. That looks pretty good right there. Where it broke, this one broke. So I'm still gonna use it. I think I never fixed this one. Might be too close to the caliper. Let me just see if this one is gonna work or not. I think it is gonna work. There's just barely enough room to clear it. It actually does mess up mess it up a little bit. So that's one problem with these. If your wheels aren't big enough, that uh, it's gonna hit your caliper and tear them up a little bit. But this is all for the test. I'll just get another pair. I'll get a pair of real chains after, after I mess these ones up. All right guys, as you can see, I have them spaced out pretty much the best I can. I have one there, one there, and one here. So obviously these would work better if you had more. So if you had a pack of, like I said in the last video, they came in a pack of six and I gave three of them away to a friend. So I only have three left, but ideally, if you could get a pack of like eight and then you could have four on each tire, each back tire, wheel, then that would be ideal. So just like in the last video I explained, I can get away with only having it on one wheel just because I have a locking G80 locker, a locking rear end. So whenever one wheel or tire slips, then it's gonna lock up the rear end and give power to both. So whenever that passenger side, so whenever this tire starts slipping, then it's gonna lock up the rear end and give power to this wheel. So let's see if these three chains spaced out is gonna be enough to get me out of here. Let's give it a try. Hopefully they don't break off. And you guys saw before I couldn't get out of here. I couldn't really move at all. So let's see if these strap on chains are, would be enough to get me out of here.
so definitely not ideal tore up my driveway pretty good tore up the driveway pretty good which is I did what I didn't want I was actually trying to get out of here and you can see this is as far as I made it with a couple tries I could definitely get out of here but this first try you can see that's where my back tire got it's right here so I really started when that rear end was locked up it really started sliding this way and then I got really close to the pole so I stopped but I made it pretty far made it a lot farther with them than without them so like I'm saying with a few tries I could definitely get out of here I think I would just buy a set of real chains if if I would if I were to do this again which is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna buy a set of chains and then I can make another video showing how much better they work got a got a good ways when I was trying with without the chains, I only got to, I don't know, maybe here, somewhere around here. So once I got a little bit of momentum going, I ended up getting all the way up to there. So definitely a big improvement. But if I would have had them on both sides, I would have easily gotten out. Or if I would have had regular chains, I could have gotten out. And I'm pretty confident that if I gave it a couple tries, I could definitely get out of here with these chains on. But I just don't want to tear up my driveway. There's no need, really. If I really had to get this truck out of here right now, I could just put my Escalade at the top and, you know, winch it to the top. But she's fine. She's fine sitting here for now. I gotta straighten out my driveway a little bit now. They definitely helped me move a lot. What I would prefer to do is have three together here, here, here. And I think that works a lot better than having them spaced like this because when they're spaced like this, they just kind of want to fling rocks and dig. So you guys can be the judge. Luna's having fun in the snow today, huh? You have fun, come here, come here. You have fun. Yeah, well, let's see what happened to these chains. I definitely heard, I definitely heard some metal, you know, slapping around. So, I don't know. This one still seems to be holding up decent. Yeah, this one's not too bad. A little bit of fraying, a little bit of fraying right here, but this one's not, not that bad could even probably put a new strap on here and then this one would be you know good good to go this one this one got a little bit worse not too much worse but it's hanging on by a thread this one definitely needs a new strap yeah I heard metal slapping everything I don't know what it was. I guess, I guess this little guy here. So yeah, this one didn't break anymore. I do think I could fix this one pretty easily just by, you know, linking them back together. And then the strap is frayed pretty bad. This one's hanging on to pretty by a few threads. So I just need some new straps, fix this one, and then they'd be good to go again. Maybe save these for the front tires of a, my Escalade or something. Because once I get some real chains, those will be the ones that I keep with me whenever I go anywhere really snowy. So yeah, now my problem is that the truck is in the way for the Escalade to get out. So I'm gonna try to park it over there where Luna is. See how well that goes.
All right, so that went better than expected. At least it's out of the way now. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm gonna be getting a set of chains, make another video on them, and I'll compare how good the real chains are compared to these. I'm gonna need the real chains anyway, just cause I plan on going to a lot of really, really snowy areas high elevation areas in the winter. So I'm gonna need them. But yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a big thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it. Helps the video grow and reach a wider audience. Hope you have a great day. Peace.